So I've been getting a lot of questions about how to install World Edit. So today I'm going to give a quick tutorial on how to install the World Edit mod for single player. If you're looking to install the World Edit plugin on a server, I don't really work with servers, so I would recommend checking out another tutorial. Keep in mind that this is a Java Edition mod, meaning that other platforms such as PlayStation, Xbox, or mobile will not be able to use this. If this does help you, please leave a like and consider subscribing. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments and I'll answer them for sure. I'll leave all the links I use down in the description as well as my social media accounts. I also do have a community discord that I actually just launched today, so if you have any questions or concerns and want a faster reply, do join it. Just click the link in the description and you'll be taken to it. I'm going to be downloading World Edit for 1.16.4. If you want to use older versions, just follow the same steps that I do in this video, except when you're downloading these files, you'll be choosing the version that you want rather than 1.16.4. There are also two mod loaders that you can use. You can use Fabric or you could use Forge. I personally use Fabric, but either of them work and I'm going to show you how to do both of them in this video. We're going to start off by doing the Forge installation. If you're using Fabric, I'll put a timestamp on screen for you to skip to. This part, however, is the same, pretty much the same for both installations. We're going to go to the worldeditcurseforge.com site and this is where you're going to download the actual mod. So we're using Forge, so we're going to click this first one. You're just going to hit this download button. It'll have you wait about five seconds and then it'll download the file. Now your file will probably download into your downloads folder. I have a little folder here containing my files. So you'll get a file that looks like this world edit forge MC 1.16.3. This also works with 1.16.4. Next thing we're going to do is go to the forge website and we're going to download the forge installer. You're just going to click this underneath download recommended, click the installer and you will get another file called forge installer. Next thing you're going to want to do is find that file, the jar file, and you're going to double click it and it'll bring up this installer window. We want to install the client since we're on single player. So you're just going to install the client. Make sure that this points to your dot Minecraft folder and you're going to hit OK. I've already installed it, so I'm not going to hit OK. So the installation will take a little bit, but after you're done, you should see a message that says created profile or something along those lines. So now if you open up your Minecraft launcher, you'll see that we have this forge profile here that they just created for us. That's how you know that you've installed it correctly. Now, our last thing we need to do is get our world edit mod and put it in our mods folder. So we're going to hit the start menu and then you're going to type in run and you'll open up this app right here which should look like this. And you're going to type in this file location called percent app data percent. Then you're going to hit OK. And we will bring up this other window here. And you can go into your .minecraft folder, go into mods, and you're going to drag your world edit mod into here. Mine is already in here. Then you're all set. You should be able to launch it. Go back to your Minecraft launcher, hit forge, hit play, and you should be good to go. Now let's start with the fabric installation. First thing you're going to do is go to the world edit mod page on curseforge.com, which is down in the description. And you're going to find this file fabric for MC 1.16.4. And you're going to hit the download button. This will take you to another page where you wait about five seconds and it'll download the file for you. I already have it installed, so I'm not going to download it. This will probably be located in your downloads folder when you're finished. Next, we're going to download the Fabric installer. This is one installer that works for all versions. So no matter what version you're playing, you're going to download this file right here. Just click that and it will start downloading. We'll also need to install the Fabric API to let World Edit run. So you can hit this link or I'm going to put the direct link to this in the description. So you can just click this and you're going to find the version that you want. In our case, we're going with 1.16.4. So you'll just download this. Make sure you download the one marked with R for release rather than the one with B because the betas might be a little bit unstable. So after you've installed those three files, you should have these three files in your downloads folder. You have Fabric API, you have the Fabric installer, and you have the actual world edit mod for Fabric. Next, we're going to click on the Fabric installer or double click and it's going to bring up this installer window. Now you can choose what version you're going to download. So I'm going to pick 1.16.4. If you're using an older version, just select it from this drop down and you're going to make sure that you're installing into the correct directory. You're going to create profile and you're going to pick the most recent loader version. I already have it installed, so there's no point in me installing it again. But after you've selected all this, just hit install. 
After your fabric installer is finished, you should be able to go in your launcher and see this fabric loader profile that was just created. Here's fabric loader 1.16.4, which we have just installed. The last thing we need to do is drag our mods into the mod folder. So there's going to be two things that we need to drag. We need to drag the world edit mod as well as the fabric API. World edit needs the fabric API in order to run. So we're going to hit our start menu. We're going to type in run and it's going to bring up this app and you'll see that I already have this typed in, but you'll just type in percent app data percent and you'll hit OK and it'll bring up another file explorer. You're going to go into the dot Minecraft folder scroll down find mods and then you're just going to drag these two mods into the mod folder i have another one this was from the forge version so i'm just going to delete that if you have other things in here that's fine i have three other folders for other mods don't worry about those so once you finish dragging the mods in you should be good to go load up your minecraft make sure you got the right profile and hit play and it should load up with no problems at all Thank you guys for watching, I really hope that helped clear some things up for you guys. As I said, my Discord link is down in the description. Also leave a comment if you're having any trouble. I'm going to reply to all the comments, but Discord is going to be the fastest way to reach me. Also my TikTok is down below. I'm posting every day on there, I'm posting a lot of tutorials and stuff, so definitely go drop a follow on there if you're interested. Have a great day.